Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to share with you all another brand new die set from Tonic Studios. This one is a double die set. You can see there's loads of dies. It, it will create two different projects. It's called the Heart and Hexagon Split Box Die Set. So as the name suggests, you get the heart design, which is going to create a split box and also a hexagon design, which is also going to create a split box. So just want to give you an overview of the dies. You will get your instructions with you. I've got mine here. Your packaging will have some photoed inspiration. And as always, um, Tonic Studios uh, you can go and watch them on facebook they have facebook lives as well as on youtube you can go and follow over there as well for some more inspiration so the dies themselves so the heart die set you can see there's the outer heart you've got some decorative layers which with the um plain edge and the dotted edge you've also got the edges here with the verso dies so you get lots of pretty designs so this one is the crisscross and then this one's more like a floral and then you get the coordinating verso dies with the shadow layers so you can create really really vibrant looking intricate looking boxes the hexagon um, design again you have lots of verso dies that obviously coordinate so all the edges have similar dies and also the sides so this one's got like almost like a rainbow effect and then this one's got the looks like a hexagon tiled effect and then an ornate one here as well so really really beautiful die set by the looks of it i can't wait to um try them out so i'm going to cut some bits and pieces and i'm going to um tell you how to put one of these together Okay, so I've decided I want to create the um, heart split box with you all. So what I've done is I've already cut my bits and pieces ready to go. You do get your instructions, um, as I said before, really, really simple and easy to follow. So we're going to create the base first. So for the base, you're going to need um, to cut this piece twice. And if you're going to add decorative elements onto your base, I suggest you cut that out like I've done here. And then you're going to stick those on. So it's easier to adhere your decorative pieces before you put your 3d um, box together and then you're going to need two sections that's going to be the base and then another one that's going to sit on top of the base just to um, cover your um, glue tabs and your workings so we're going to create the little storage box first and then we're going to create the split um, casing <music> we have our base ready we can just put that to a side for a second and work on the split element so the split 
um box the split casing and um, you're going to work with two of these so this is the larger die i'm going to show you here i've not used the decorative section on this i'm just using the die with some floral paper from my stash and what i didn't mention on here is i actually went ahead and burnished these tabs so it's just a bit quicker and then you're going to work with halves this time so you're going to have um one half and then you're going to have another and you're going to cut this twice to get a front and a back again we're going to cover the tabs that's why you need two sections and this is going to then create your little split that's why there's two halves and these two sections are only going to be stuck together on one of the tabs and one tab you're going to cut off but just turn it this way you can see this little tab is going to be cut off so what i'm going to do is again i'm using the thin red liner tape because i just find it easier and because you've got a section covering the back of the tabs um it's just a nice and easy way that i like to use the thin red liner tape so i'm going to do that and then um we'll go from there This section you've got loads of elements that you can decorate your top with so you can do it like this what I want to do is I want to create like a full cover on the top like that and then decorate the top of that so you get loads of different um, decorative elements you get a key you get um, these locks I have made another one the, hex um, the hexagon shape one which I'm going to show you where you can use all these little sections but I'm going to use something a bit different I'm going to use some pearls for the closure with a bit of ribbon and my ribbon is from the sweet pink crafters ribbon 
and this is the three millimeter bit and three millimeter size so let's get this all decorated and finished is my beautiful split heart box and then I'm going to show you again undo that little bow so you can create your closure however you like you might you don't even need a closure to be fair um but if you do want something there you've got the option and then the little heart section that comes out for your little gift okay so that is uh, the heart one and then I have actually created another one using the um just pick it up for you the hexagon shape so same concept the only difference is to create your base edge you're going to need to create obviously six sides and then for the top you're going to need the same again but you've got a smaller section so you need to cut this twice and the larger section you're going to need to cut this um three times to create your six sides so again lots of decorative elements tabs and tags and little words and this is the one I've created so this is just because this time I've used the closure die that comes in the set I've put some organza ribbon through which I'm just going to take away and then in the inside you've got this little hexagon um, box here which you can take out you can actually stick it on but I think it's nice you can just take it out close it back up and then thread your ribbon through and then tie off a bow so that is how this is looking this so this time i've used more of the decorative dies to decorate it with and there's the back you can actually um decorate the back as well but you don't get to see it so i've left it as it is and then i've decorated the sides here and then on the inside i've just added another gray card to match the outside so those are my split boxes hexagon and the heart shape both are so so adorable i think to create like a very opulent look use your mirror cards from tonic studios and also your um iridescent cards i think they just make it look really vibrant and the designs really pop um but yeah use whatever you have at hand as well use your decorative papers and create these projects so i hope i've inspired you check out the description box below because i'm going to put the links to where you can find these die sets today and and um, they are affiliate links so thank you in advance if you're using those um so that is it from me for today thanks again for watching and i will see you all very soon take care bye